Welcome back to another late night show here from the Off Pit Garage in Austria. Welcome back to Andy's workbench. Today with a disaster. My good old CKE Tech Tester EBC A20, which has shit itself just today when I tested a battery. The um, the the problem. The problem was when I turned it on, the display said something with over voltage. I said, well, that's weird. Nothing is connected. I had my test probe still in my hand and I was going to connect it. And I connected the positive display cleared and nothing happened. And I connected the negative and I could hear a inside and the display went off. So that was the last time I have seen life in this device, unfortunately. I said, I have to open it. I have to see if there is a fuse inside. Hopefully, hopefully there's a fuse and it was just a fuse, but it didn't sound like a fuse. And after we have opened it now, there is no fuse inside. We can see the little terminal there where we have usually the power supply connected. Hello, Toby. So what was the problem? Well, the problem was the power supply. It comes with this 19 volt and 4.74 amp power supply. It's like a laptop power supply only with a standard plug. When I measured the power supply, it showed me 27 volts. I said, well, yeah, that is over voltage, definitely. And then when I measure it the second time after a minute, it had zero volts, nothing. So I've got a bit of a hope that we have a voltage regulator here under this heatsink in this corner. We can, we can see three contacts down there which go into the PCB. And I hope, I hope this was the sound I heard when this one died. Because we have tracks on this side here and also on this side. But this is the incoming power supply here it goes to the switch we are these two cables and then and then it comes back to the pcb and this is the voltage regulator or transistor let's unsolder this one first and see what we have Come on here. Huh, so, what do we have? Who can read it? <laughs> it is black writing on a black case. L78120V or CV? Okay, first thing on Google is the L7812CV data sheet PDF. 5 to 24 volt, 1.5 amp, thermal overload protection. Yeah, well, not in my case. Here, DC input voltage 5 to 18 or 20 and 24. What does that mean? Why is there two? So this is ground, input, output. Ooh, that would be cool. If it's just a voltage regulator, it's easy to fix. Okay, let's fire up the beast. And let's do an input voltage of 19 volts. That's what the power supply had. Yep, that's good enough. And we limit our current just for the test here to see what's going on. Okay, this leg up, this one up. And ground stays there so so we have our input leg ground is in the middle and the output is on this side okay let's do the input here and the ground the ground is the middle one let's see if there's anything happening no there's nothing happening all right a measure from the middle uh, from the middle leg to the output and we should see 12 volts but we are seeing nothing there's nothing input voltage is there 19 volts but no output 
So it's definitely the voltage regulator which has shit itself. Okay, let's see where we can get one. Well, this one looks a bit different here. It has like five legs, not only three. Okay, so uh, just do a little bit of testing here now at the moment, as we usually do here in the off-grid garage in Austria. I just soldered two cables on the position where the voltage regulator was. A red one for the positive, black one for the negative. And I will put this on our power supply and supply them 12 volt to the main board here and see if it fires up again. But I need to reconnect everything before I do this. There's this um, control circuit board which sits on top here in this position. And then we have to reconnect all the switches here and also the um, display. On this side. Okay. I don't need to connect the switch here because I just want to see if it actually fires again. I hope I don't destroy it completely now. Okay, let's be very precise with the 12 volt because this is exactly what the voltage regulator does, right? And now let's see what happens when we reconnect this one here and see. It takes 95 milliamps. If I do that, but nothing happens, there's no display still. But, um, no, nah, that's not good. If I give it more power here, look at the voltage. Voltage has collapsed to 0.5 volts only. And if I turn up the current, um, one volts, 0.3. Yeah, we're pushing 700 milliamps into the circuit here. That's not good. That cannot be good. So obviously this is not working. Hang on, it cannot work because I just realized the um, the actual display here has some standoffs as well, some connectors which go in this which go in this connector over here on the main board again. So I need to close the enclosure. Okay, let's feed the cables through here. Holy dooly. How are you supposed to put this one together, right? So you need really to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Got it, got it, got it. Yep, it's in, it's in. All right, we are cooking. Okay, let's try this again. 12 volt. Current is limited. Okay, positive and negative. Okay, I can see the display was coming on for a moment, but we have a limited current here. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Yay, we got it! It's back alive! Okay, I just need to find a shop where we can buy this voltage regulator here. Uh, preferable locally, so it doesn't take too long. I need this tester. I need it. Otherwise, I have to look on eBay and it takes a couple of days to get it in. And then we put it back on the board and hopefully everything works again. But it looks like it turned on when I put the 12 volt on the main board. So obviously the voltage regulator has shit itself only. Hopefully this is the only damage we have. So I'll see you back when I have the replacement part. Mm -hmm.